on a motorcycle gives you a completely different perspective than riding in a car or a truck. You get to experience what's going on around you. There's nothing between you and the scenery. You get to take in the smells of everything. My name is Stacy, and I'm part of the Motor Dog team. I've been riding motorcycles for a few decades. I'm a teacher by trade and a full-time dog mom. One of the reasons we started traveling with our dogs is to eliminate separation anxiety. And not only do the dogs experience separation anxiety, but so do I. I do not like leaving my dogs for an extended period of time, so taking them along with us is a great alternative. Having them with us 24-7 eliminates all my stress and anxiety. We create a bond like no other. My name is Shannon. I'm a motorcycle enthusiast and part of the Motor Dogs team. My wife and our three dogs travel the countryside. The dogs love it and we love it. I got my first motorcycle when I was 10 years old. It was a little dirt bike and I've had a motorcycle ever since. Once you catch that bug, it's really difficult to imagine life without it. I love taking the dogs with us because they enjoy it. You can see it in their expressions. You can see it in the way they react. And to be able to do something that we love to do and include them, it's a win-win. One of the biggest rewards of traveling with the dogs on the motorcycles is seeing other people's reactions. The dog likes it up there? Oh, he loves it. Yeah. She's got two with her, too. They're on the back, yeah. Yeah, they enjoy it. Cool. Oh, my goodness. Can I take a picture? Yeah, for sure. Hey, oh, she's got her goggles up on top of her. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. There you go. Oh, they are just adorable. <laughs> Once they notice a dog on the motorbike, their eyes get bright. They have the biggest smile on their faces. A simple pit stop becomes 30 to 40 minutes. We constantly have people approaching us, asking to take pictures. They want to meet the dogs and pet them. It really is quite the experience. <laughs> oh, that's good. Out of all our dogs, the one that enjoys it the most is definitely Mercedes. When she's out there riding, She's taking it all in. She's living the dream. When we were traveling through the Rocky Mountains, when Mercedes saw a corner coming, she would perk up and she would lean that direction and Shannon would take the corner. You know, she's there, she's with you, she's experiencing it. They love the smells. They love looking around and seeing the wildlife that's around us, riding with us with her nose in the air, leaning forward. That's when Mercedes is her happiest. She will stay attentive like 95% of the time and just loves doing it, loves being there, loves the experience of it all. She enjoys riding so much. Every time we go out, she puts a huge smile on my face. Some of our favorite places to visit when we're traveling with the dogs is the various historical sites in the area. The dogs are like our children, and we take their safety very serious. There are many things to consider if you're going to place your dog on a motorcycle. Proper training is a must. Our dogs wear harnesses to make sure we can properly secure them into their riding compartments. They wear doggles to protect their eyes from the wind and bugs. And we'll also put cotton balls or earplugs in their ears to prevent hearing loss. And when the weather turns bad, we'll zip them up in their riding compartments and let them ride it out. How's it going today? Great! <laughs> There's the cloud we're waiting on. With any luck, we'll stay out of its path.
When you spend a lot of time with your dogs, you create a bond that is so tight. Like these animals rely on us and trust us, and you can see it in their eyes. The first time I took Portia snowmobiling, she would look up at me, make sure this is okay, you know, because it's something she's never done before. And I give her a nod and she's good. There's that connection there. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's real. Shannon is an avid snowmobiler, and he enjoys taking the dogs along for the ride. Living in Canada, our winters are long, and we don't get to motorcycle as much as we want to, so we have other things like snowmobiling to keep us busy. I was curious to see how the dogs would react on a snowmobile. It's definitely colder, so we have to do it when it's mild out and a nice day, and we put little parkas or jackets on them so that it helps keep them warm. They love it. It's just like motorcycling. Mercedes took to it like you wouldn't believe. She was just so gung-ho to get out there and, and ride. You know, whether it was summer or winter, it didn't seem to matter to her. She was content doing it, and she loved it. Yeah, they just love riding. It's awesome. Yeah. And there's, there's another one on this other bike here, too. This guy right over here. <laughs> That's awesome. so funny. They like, they like being on the bikes, huh? They love it, yeah. They absolutely love it. It's super cute. What are their names? That's Lincoln. Lincoln, okay. And the other two are Mercedes and Porsche. <laughs> Harley. Yeah, he's at home actually. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like the highway. He's, he's fine at slow speeds, but he doesn't like going fast, so. It all started with Buckley. You want to get going? Is that what you're saying? You want to get going? Put your foot. We got him a little pair of doggles and started training him on my husband's motorcycle and taking him around town. And he would sit nice and tall and proud and look around. He really, really enjoyed it. However, Buckley does not like highway speeds. So out of all the motor dogs, Buckley gets parade duty and the rest get the traveling duty. When traveling with the dogs, our first choice in accommodation is tenting. The dogs love to camp. They love all the smells around the campsite. They love the freedom. At the end of each day, we always discuss what our favorite part of the ride was. My favorite part was probably uh, just coming into radium in those really narrow, where they blasted through the mm -hmm. mountain to make a road there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was cool. The dogs love it. They love sitting around the campfire. You know, they'll even fall asleep um, on our laps in front of the fire. Just like people, dogs enjoy relaxing too. The dogs absolutely love to tent. They enjoy the freedom of running around the tent. They love to choose whether they're gonna sleep inside or outside our sleeping bags. They are total cuddle bugs, even in the morning. 
Who needs a shower? We got Pomeranian. When we're out on the road, the bikes get dirty and grimy, and the dogs get a little bit dirty too. So they look forward to when the groomer comes to visit. Bailey has been grooming the dogs since they were babies, and they have developed this great bond between each other. Bailey knows them, the dogs know her. It's really cute to see. We love our dogs so much. They are definitely part of our family. You wouldn't go on family vacation without your children. We don't go on family vacation without our dogs. Traveling with dogs can be tricky, but you'd be amazed at how many pet-friendly accommodations and businesses are out there. We love visiting Harley-Davidson dealerships. We have not found one yet that isn't welcoming to the dogs. When we pull up on the motorcycles, they invite the dogs in, they meet and greet them. Hey, what do you think? Which one should we get next, huh? The best part is going shopping with the dogs. Every Harley Davidson dealership has a pet section. There's all sorts of leashes and tags and toys. In fact, Lincoln's favorite toy is his orange streak glide. Not many days like this left, eh? No, 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 It's really hard to express in words how it makes you feel when you can do the things you love to do with the person you love the most and the animals you love the most. It's an experience like nothing else. and join us for our ride with the motor dogs as we explore what North America has to offer. <laughs>